Time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France. And today we're going to turn to the spotlight on the French healthcare system. It's somewhat of an object of fascination abroad, often held up as an example for its quality of treatment and for its universality of coverage. But the system is actually facing some major problems which have led many medical professionals to go on strike. That's right, Angela. In fact, perhaps the biggest and most urgent uh, health care problem right now in France is a phenomenon that the French like to call a medical desert, uh, a désert médical, uh, or les déserts médicaux, if you're talking about them in the plural, because there are many of them. It's our expression du jour. You can see it here. Now, what in the world is a medical desert? Well, it's essentially an area uh, where access to health care is limited, and this shortage uh, can concern all sectors, whether it's doctors or dentists or specialists, but it especially concerns general practitioners around the country. It's estimated that about 12% of the French population, so 8 million French people, live in one of these medical deserts. And where are they? Well, uh, let's take a look at a map, because that'll give you a better idea. Uh, in 2022, there were roughly 230,000 doctors in France. But as you can see on this map here, they're not equally distributed around the country. Where do doctors like to live? Well, it's the dark red on the map. And you can see, unsurprisingly, Paris and the beautiful uh, Côte d'Azur right behind me here. Those are very popular destinations for doctors to set up their practices. Uh, meanwhile, the areas that are lighter on the map are areas where there's a shortage of, of doctors. Essentially, medical at the deserts tend to be in rural and suburban France, essentially in areas where there's already a shortage of public services. And this has been something people talk about in France, have been talking about it for 20 years, more. What explains this shortage? Well, it's a growing shortage, especially. It's for several reasons. First of all, the number of doctors per person in France has dropped over the years, and this is partially due to a now defunct uh, policy that was called the numerous closes, uh, clauses, the closed number in Latin. And this was a policy that started in the 1970s in France, which essentially limited the number of doctors that could qualify in French medical schools. And the, at the time, the thinking was that this policy would actually reduce healthcare spending, which was spiraling out of control in France at the time. But essentially what it did is plant the seeds for the current catastrophic situation that France is right now. So not only are there fewer doctors than there used to be back in the years, they're also getting older. According to the World Health Organization, almost half of French doctors are over the age of 55 and approaching retirement. So local authorities essentially are really struggling to attract younger doctors to replace these retiring doctors, and all this really does affect patients. Mon médecin est parti à la retraite il y a quelques années. Il a, son cabinet n'a pas été repris. Il n'y a personne derrière. Donc, euh, c'était euh, l'enfer pour trouver un médecin. So, what are the solutions to these medical deserts? Well, the government has scrapped this numerous clauses, this uh, cap on the number of medical doctors, but it will take a few years for that policy to bear its fruit. Uh, they're also trying to ease the workload of existing doctors by essentially uh, delegating tasks to qualified nurses and pharmacists and also promoting video uh, tele uh, consultations that people can do over the computer. Uh, but that doesn't really address this big issue of geographic inequalities. And so recently, some 200 lawmakers tabled an amendment to what they call regulate a doctor's freedom to set up practice, essentially try and control where doctors can set up their practices. Ce que nous souhaitons, c'est dire une chose toute simple à nos médecins. N'allez plus là où les besoins de santé sont déjà pourvus. Now, in the end, that amendment was actually voted down. But as you can imagine, it really was met by outrage, both by doctor unions and also by medical students. Take a listen. On a déjà des études suffisamment longues et euh, qui puisent pas mal notre énergie. Donc euh, je trouve que c'est assez injuste en soi de euh, bah, nous forcer euh, du coup euh, indirectement à aller euh, travailler dans des déserts médicaux. And things have got so bad that some of these smaller villages have taken it upon themselves to try to attract young doctors. Absolutely. Many of them are so desperate that they've really pulled out all the stops to try and attract young medical students to their rural areas. And it's really a charm offensive. You can see this tour bus here. This is uh, what some villages are doing. They're uh, organizing these fancy tours to show off the attractiveness of their area. Uh, they're having cocktail parties and
in receptions, uh, trying to woo over these uh, these medical students. They're also having all sorts of financial incentives, for instance, a lump sum for doctors to set up their practices or even free rent for a certain amount of time. And some have gone even a little bit further than that, and they're actually paying for medical students during their lengthy studies. La mairie s'assure d'avoir un médecin dans quelques années alors que toutes les communes du coin cherchent un peu désespérément à récupérer des médecins. Et de l'autre côté, moi, je, du coup, j'ai une sérénité pendant, pendant mes études au niveau financier. But aside from those charm offensives, there is also this issue of pay, which is it's a big problems. it's a big question in France because in the past, brace yourself if you're in America because this this figure is going to be crazy for you. In the past, the basic consultation fee was 25 euros at a uh, general practitioner. It can be a little bit higher if you go to a specialist. Uh, and so, if you're American, <laughs> this is staggering because uh, it's very cheap. But in France, this is a key feature of French healthcare is that it's affordable and subsidized by the state. So doctors have been calling for an increase in this basic consultation fee because they say, you know, the cost of, of living is rising and they want that uh, consultation fee to increase as well. Nous, on veut investir dans du matériel, on veut investir dans du personnel, on veut investir dans des locaux aussi pour recevoir nos patients, euh, et clairement pas euh, s'en mettre dans les poches. Now, the government did recently announce that it would increase the basic consultation fee to 26.50 euros, which many doctors say just isn't enough. Uh, on the other hand, patients tend to like uh, this price. But all this means that GPs uh, sometimes can drift away from the profession, and many young people uh, might think twice before becoming doctors, and all this... Uh, uh, might threaten France's very cherished healthcare system at its very foundation. That's it for now. In the meantime, you can tweet your questions at Flo Vilmino and check out our website, France24.com. People and Profit, your business show that goes beyond the numbers and the corporate jargon. Understand everything related to major business stories and how economy affects our lives. People and Profit on France 24 and France24.com.